history. I want to live to be 93. I play safe for you and me, cause I'm no fool. As I said to Pinocchio, Pinocchio, there's two ways to do anything, the right way and the wrong way. If you want to be right, do things the right way. Because if you do things the wrong way, that's the foolish way. And only fools do things the foolish way, which is the wrong way, right? Anyway, let's see, where was I? Anyone can be a fool and do things which are wrong. But fools find out when it's too late that they don't live so long. Oh, I'm no fool, no serene. I want to live to be 93. I play safe for you and me, cause I'm no fool. Now let's quit fooling around and get to the point. Here we are, electricity. You know electricity works hard for you. So don't you take electricity lightly. You should know all about it. Well now, let's see. It's all here in the book. In the first place, it's made up of electrons and protons, positive and negative. When the positives and negatives get together, they attract. But positives and positives and negatives and negatives repel. And the magnetism, current, uh, volts and ohms generate. Uh, well, anyway, electricity is all around you, everywhere. Of course you can't see it, except for lightning, that is. What you do see is the work it does. But man didn't know how to put it to work until about a hundred years ago. Now look at all it does for you. Without electricity, you'd be in the dark. Like the caveman was way before man's world was lit up. As you already know, lightning is electricity. And it will strike twice in the same place. No wonder lightning was frightening. It was like magic. Early man's only contact with electricity was negative. It was a hair-raising experience. Well, that's the way it went for thousands of years. It wasn't until the middle of the 18th century that a live wire, Ben Franklin, proved that the thing that had been scaring man all those years lightning was electricity. Right. This was swell except for one problem. Lightning was electricity running wild. Out of control. But Ben had sparked man's interest. Light dawned, and man quickly came up with the first storage battery. The generator. The telegram. Man was transforming electricity into useful energy. He was learning how to control it. Lighthouses. Telephones. Light bulbs. Man really got turned on. Phonographs. Movies. Radios. Streetcars. Trains. Why, it was electrifying. X-rays. Refrigerators. Television. Stereos. And computers. Electricity is currently doing all kinds of swell things for you. But it can also be your deadly enemy. And now I'll tell you why. This is why O U. You. And the first thing you should learn is to R E S P E C T respect electricity. You probably already know these simple rules. Like when something is marked high voltage, stay away. Play somewhere that's safe. Don't play with fuse boxes or breaker switches. They're no-nos. Another no-no is sticking something in an outlet. 
Outlets are for plugs only. And push them all the way in for safety. Never pull on the cord to take out a plug. It could cause a problem. Like broken wires that could start fires. And never leave a light socket empty. Always keep a bulb in it so your little brother can't stick his finger in there. Lightning strikes tall things on its way to the ground. So don't run under a tree. Stay away from downed wires. Remember, all wires, fat or thin, are dangerous. Like when they're used as control wires on model airplanes. Here's something you ought to know. Water plus electricity plus you almost always adds up to an accident. Water is a good conductor of electricity, and the amount of water, like the size of wire, has nothing to do with the size of the accident. And above all, remember, stay healthy by having a healthy respect for anything electrical. Now, let's suppose we play a game, a safety game, between you and a common, ordinary fool. F O O L. Okay, handsome. On your mark. Get set. Go! Any fool who overloads an electrical outlet will find all his plug ins are something he'll regret. And now, you. No fool, no serene. I want to live to be 23. I play safe for you and me, cause I'm no fool. Take it away, dummy. Any fool sits where it's damp and strums electric rock, finds water a conductor, but it comes as quite a shock. Now, let's send in the first team. Oh, I'm no fool, no serene. I want to live to be 33. I play safe for you and me, cause I'm no fool. Try it again, stupid. Any fool who flies his kite when there's a chance of rain could find the drizzle makes him sizzle, which proves his lack of brain. No siree, I want to live to be 53. I play safe for you and me, cause I'm no fool. All right, Nitwit, you're on. Any fool who leaves his room with electric toys plugged in could soon see a fire truck where his room had been. No fool, no serene. I want to live to be 103. I play safe for you and me, cause I'm no fool. The winner! Congratulations, champ! You're no fool, no serene. You're gonna live to be 103. You play safe for you and me, cause you're no fool.